All right. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday, 1115 a.m. California time. January 30th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here across the earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.1 into Southern California. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the West Coast, see what we got going on as far as earthquake activity goes. Uh, a couple of earthquakes here on the San Andreas Fault, roughly around the creeping segment. Also one down off the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Been watching that pretty closely because we've been seeing a, a little bit of earthquake uptick here off of the plate boundary in the strain region uh, where we expect, well, off of the strain region, I should say, where we expect some pressure transfer to uh, uh, accumulate just off of. And uh, yeah, a little 1.1 today. Nothing big going on across Southern California for now. Everything above or uh, below the 2.5 threshold. And again, a couple quakes there off the San Andreas Fault. Uh, further up north, there's that movement on the San Andreas Fault, the creeping segment, 2.1. little clustering going on there today. Uh, the Bay Area, a couple smaller microquakes here on the San Andreas Fault. Really nothing major going on today. That includes Northern California. Got one little spotty earthquake here from yesterday. And as uh, far as the cast, well, let me look at the seismograph stations. China Lake, that's a station down there in Southern California, picking up a little bit of earthquake activity. But Northern California here looks pretty quiet across the uh, Petrolia station. A little earthquake uh, from yesterday, three-pointer out in the Cascadia Basin. Nothing new to report here across the Cascadia for now. As we head into inland areas across Yellowstone, they added a couple of the earthquakes that struck um, late afternoon yesterday. Looks like some ones, upper ones. If we check out the seismograph stations here, uh, that's going to be these earthquakes right about here from yesterday. A couple other smaller ones in there as well. So those are going to be uh, you know much smaller than the one pointer. Uh, quite a few of them, but uh, USGS went ahead and put a fraction of them on, uh, with the largest being a 1.8 from yesterday. No, really nothing major to report there across Yellowstone for now. Uh, Texas oil fields getting hit and hammered with uh, earthquake activity. 4.5 earthquakes striking this oil field here yesterday. Handful of aftershock sequences. Of course, remember, uh, wherever there's oil fields out here, we can expect to see uh, earthquakes in the foreseeable future. Some of these can be up in the five range as well. Luckily, this one was only a four-pointer, but uh, they can get bigger than that. New Madrid seismic zone from yesterday, a little 1.8. Nothing going on there across the eastern portion of the country today. If we look at the largest magnitude here in the last 24 hours, going to be a 5.2 up there across the Alaska area. Seen a swarm of movement up here recently. Uh, looks like they removed the previous five-pointer that was down here across the Aleutian Trench and went with a 4.4. Um, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of deleting of the events yesterday. We seen this light up with fives last night, and uh, they only went with one earthquake there, 5.2 in that region. Uh, but so far after midnight, uh, the largest earthquake appears to be a 4.6. About 4 o'clock, my time, local time here in Iran. So uh, things kind of on the mellow side out here today in terms of any major sufficient movement. Take a look here at the Earthquake 3D Globe. Uh, some more active regions here across the western area of the Pacific Plate. That includes Japan area, Kuril Kamchatka, and the Izu Trench. Getting a handful of deep quakes here uh, on the Izu and then towards the Mariana Trench as well. So we'll keep an eye, obviously, on the Nankai Trough. It does have potential there for some uh, uh, much larger movement. A little bit more active over here across the uh, Ron area as well. Quite a, a little bit of swarming going on there. Uh, got some deeper activity there off the plate boundary. The uh, Turkey area getting hammered with quite a few earthquakes. Some threes and twos. It looks like there may be a four in there as well. Uh, it's a little bit more notable uptick in earthquake activity around this region of the globe today compared to yesterday. Up in Canada here, we got a little 3.7 that uh, is a fairly new earthquake off of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, but nothing, again, nothing big going on there for now. Definitely keep an eye on it, though. Uh, across the space weather world, we have a number of sunspots out here, currently on the northeastern quadrant of the sun. 
Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the majority of these are starting to stabilize or decay in terms of magnetic complexity. So I'm really not, uh, really not so sure we're going to see any uh, stronger flares out of the sunspot group now. Uh, it's it's just one of those things. They, uh, it looks like maybe promising in terms of complexity and solar flare potential, but uh, overnight looks like things have degraded a little bit. So I'll probably drop the flare threat slightly as the uh, sunspot group up here is uh, still massive, but uh, degrading in terms of magnetic structure. Aside from that, fairly minimal conditions out here as far as the uh, sunspots go. Uh, far as any aurora activity well it looks like maybe coming up here over the next couple nights we'll see uh maybe not tonight but tomorrow night maybe and the next night kp index up, up around the four to five range as mentioned here on the three-day geomagnetic forecast that uh is due to uh, i believe a cme let me check here and see is it on this one i can lose track here of of all the different options. There we go. So, doesn't look like much is coming in. Looks like just barely a little weak area of plasma. Let me double check on the official side over here. See what we have brewing. We'll put this into motion. Earth going to be here in the green. It looks like it's just the normal, typical solar wind stream there uh, that's coming from a coronal hole. Barely. Uh, we're not going to get anything from that plasma cloud. So what is coming in is the uh, coronal hole solar wind stream. It's something that's always being put out by the sun as far as solar wind, uh, solar, uh, wind speed. I don't know if that's going to amplify conditions up to a G1 class storm, but that's what they're calling for. I'm not really expecting much, though, in terms of the uh, uh, aurora activity. As uh, far as any uh, major close approach asteroids, let's go ahead and check out the uh, next close five approaches here to the planet. Uh, today, you got a 25 foot bus size asteroid, 264,000 miles there, pretty safe distance, and really nothing coming too close here. Uh, to the planet in the uh, foreseeable near terms severe weather outlook today well we got a slight risk here a little localized slight risk area uh, for some tornado activity a five percent chance there across louisiana looks like mississippi um, included in that as well just a heads up if you're out there today uh, just be uh, weather aware for some spinning water vapor out there also got uh, some wind threats Really nothing for hail. That normally happens back over here across the uh, Texas, Oklahoma area, New Mexico. They get they are uh, famous for some big hail events. All right, uh, let's see. Let's take a look here at the weather forecast here. Here's the uh, potential severe weather events today across the south. Northern California has a storm knocking on its door, which is uh, okay by me. Got uh, maybe a series of atmospheric river events out here or pineapple expresses, whatever you like to call them. They've changed over the years as far as the names go, but uh, it's bringing rainfall back to Northern California. That's all I care about. I don't care about names, but uh, I do want to see rain falling out of the sky because everything's super dry. And it looks like uh, we're going to stay sufficiently wet out here over the course of uh, at least the next couple weeks. Uh, the total accumulated precipitation runs out here look promising for Northern California, Oregon, and Washington. Southern California, just a little bit. Not so much out there, but maybe that's probably a good thing to prevent any uh, mud flows. But, uh, you know, a little bit of moisture out there wouldn't hurt, um, potentially squash any fire concerns. But uh, big time rain accumulation up there in the mountains. Going to start off at some higher snow levels. But uh, we're talking about a uh, couple feet of Rainfall is listed on the map there across the higher Sierra Nevada mountains. In the Sacramento Valley, probably going to pick up between three to four inches of rainfall. And that's perfect for me. I'd like to have a little bit more, but uh, it's so dry out there. Goodness, the north wind's been blowing like crazy. We haven't had a drop of rain since early, early this month. And that was only a quarter of an inch of rain. 
So, I mean, everything's so dry. Everything's actually starting to die out here now. And that's not uh, normal for January and February for California. But it's coming. It looks like we got a return of some decent rainfall. Got an earthquake coming into the Solomon Islands here. Showing up quite nicely on that uh, seismograph station. A couple of earthquakes there in uh, China Lake. Very small earthquakes. Let's see if uh, anything's showing up there yet. It's just coming into the seismo, so they're not uh, picking it up yet around the Solomon Islands area. But I'm sure that will come in. But uh, we do have, you know, a number of earthquakes in Southern California showing. Uh, more so on the seismograph stations and not on the map here. But uh, definitely got some activity as noted right here across the graph. Uh, Solomon Islands. Let's see what we have. Not coming in yet. It doesn't look like anything big. This area has been... Uh, lacking seismic activity here over the last couple days it's a seismic gap zone normally that will fill in uh, so it looks like that may be starting as we speak but uh, from the looks of it doesn't look like it's a big earthquake just a localized event there may be a four uh, to that area but uh, we'll see all right folks i'm out of here uh, if it's anything you know big of course we'll jump back in with a major update but uh, i'm not seeing anything showing up yet on the earthquake 3d globe have a good one. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. Stay safe.